Breaking. I'm Paul Martino. In other news tonight, four firefighters were injured, 10 people displaced, and three homes damaged during a fire in Etna today. Shelby Cassessi's been at the scene most of the day, and she's still live there tonight. She's got the latest, Shelby. Paul, crews were just here boarding up this home behind me. They wrapped up just about 20 minutes ago. Take a look at the devastating damage to this home as the fire ripped through multiple stories. Now, the fire chief tells me that this home and the one right next to it are only about two feet apart, so the fire quickly spread to that second home as well. Around 100 firefighters from 12 departments, along with dozens of neighbors, packed Wilson Street Saturday afternoon as crews battled a three-alarm fire in two homes. They were bursting everywhere. Just it, it was it was bad. The whole side of the house was covered in in just flames. Fortunately, all 10 people living in the two homes, including two cats, got out safely. Four firefighters were injured, but are expected to be okay. One guy with a laceration from a piece of glass. With one guy that went to the hospital with a medical event, and he should be fine. And uh, two others that were evaluated for heat related uh, exposure. But the fire was aggressive. This video from a neighbor shows flames shooting from the back porch of the first home. He says he initially tried to put them out with a fire extinguisher, but they were too powerful, even melting the siding on a third home. The porch was up in flames within 60 seconds. Fire extinguisher was. There was no point in using it. It was too hot. With the houses so close together along Wilson Street, a quick response was critical. Once that fire starts, it's it's on to that house very quickly. So uh, small, old towns, the fire travels very fast. We did see the Red Cross here earlier this afternoon. They said they are helping six adults and four children with clothing, food, and temporary lodging. The cause of this fire is under investigation. Reporting live in Etna, Shelby Cassessi, KDK News.